Hello everyone, Jessica here with another layout for the Thermal Whip Design Team. So today I am pulling out some deco foil and some peel and stick toner sheets. And I'm just prepping my paper here to start with some white, or actually it's clear gesso. Um, so I'm using the clear today. I usually do use the white, but since it's a uh, colored paper that I'm going to use, I am actually prepping it with this clear gesso. That way it's prepping it for my mixed media that I'm going to apply and it makes it be able to hold up to those liquids and not warp my paper too bad. So I've pulled out a pattern piece of paper from my stash here and I'm just cutting the middle out of it because I'm just going to use it as a border. And then the inside here, I wanted to map my photo with. So I'm actually matting my photo with um, some leftover paper that I had from cutting my cut file for this layout. And this is just some smooth black cardstock. So I'm going to mat my photo once with that. And then I'm going to mat it again with this pattern paper to pull in a little bit more of that festive print. So I'm just using some easy tear tape. Um, this is the half inch size and I'm using that to um, adhere both of those layers together. And then here is my cut file. I have cut it out twice on my cutting machine. So I cut it out once with that, that smooth black cardstock and then again here with that peel and stick toner sheet. And I like to use the poster board setting because it seems to cut well through all of those layers. And I'm just prepping my photo here because my paper is laying beside me it's still drying with that gesso on it so I'm just working on other things as that's drying so I've pulled out some of the silver photo corners to use on my photo just to kind of finish that part off and I've pulled out some silver um, deco foil sheets here and here is my fuse laminator I'm just turning it on it's heating up now and then I'm just going to sandwich this in between some of the craft and carrier sheet here that I have and I'm just putting that um, toner sheet down, the peel and stick toner sheet first, and then I put my silver foil on top with the um, metallic side. <laughs> it's just like a bland silver side down on your um, on whatever you want to transfer it to. And then your pretty side is going to be up facing you. So that's already um, ran through there. It's already foiled and beautiful. There's my beautiful letters. I'm just gonna use the inside of the letters for the foiled bit and I'm gonna leave the outline black. So here's my paper. It's all prepped with the gesso. It's dry now so I can go ahead and start applying my mixed media. I'm just gonna lay out my photo and my um, cut file to see where I wanna place everything to kind of um, give me an idea of where I want to place my mixed media. So I've pulled out a bunch of shimmers paints here in these little pots. I'm going to use a whole bunch of these on my layout. So I'm just watering them down to activate the color. And um, I'm doing that to all of these just to get them prepped and ready. And then I'm using my paintbrush and just a sheet of clear acetate that's just packaging from something like a sticker pack or something. And I'm just using it on there to kind of... Um, kind of drop it onto my layout at first and then just smush it around a little bit with that packaging. And then I just do the same with all the colors and I'm alternating between smushing and flicking some on with my paintbrush and then I'm just moving along with all of the different colors that I have laid out here. Um, I, I do a couple different shades of green first and then this one is actually supposed to be really green but it kind of looks blue. I don't know why that is but um, I used green first. It was a dark green and then I used this one and it just has a more of a bluish um, tone to it for some reason but I don't know it's supposed to be green and then this one's a lighter green so I'm just mixing them all together when you apply gesso to paper it really um, gives you the effect that you can blend all of these colors together versus then just soaking right into your paper so I love the effect that gesso gives on these shimmers paints it just makes them so beautiful and I'm just smushing in some of this blue here and I'm going to actually add a little bit more water and push some of this around with my paintbrush. And then I will flick some more of these colors onto the, the paper to add some splatters. And I'm actually going to pull out some white acrylic paint to add some white paint in there. It actually creates kind of like a marbling effect, which I love. So I'm just going to water down some white acrylic paint here. I've actually changed my water so that this stays super white and it wasn't tinted with any of the blues or greens that I used. So I'm just flicking some of this white on there with my paintbrush. 
I just love the way that that looks up against that green background paper. Oh, it's just so pretty. So I'm also alternating using my heat tool on this as well. So that's my first layer that I've put down. I use my heat gun. I'm going to add some more splattering and use my heat gun again. So I'm just drying up between my layers because I am super impatient and cannot wait for this to dry. I just want to get this layout out of my head and onto paper. So I'm going to use my heat gun in between the layers and call it a day. But it doesn't warp too, too bad whenever you use the heat gun on the bottom side as well. So I use it on the top and the bottom. So I'm heating from underneath as well as the top side. So that kind of tends to even out any warping that you might have and you kind of see my paper is a little bit warped right here but I'm really not worried about it too much because it'll flatten out uh, whenever I add some things here to it and as I'm working with it as it's drying a little bit more and then it'll flatten out whenever it's in my actual album as well but if you're worried about it being warped too bad you can always run it through a laminator as well and that'll smooth all of those out. So here I've cut my paper down here by a half inch and I am, I just distressed all the edges as you saw and then I just applied some more easy tear tape in the 1 fourth inch size and then I'm just going to apply that to my border. So next I am going to grab my cut file here and go ahead and adhere that in my photo down to my layout. Um, I'm going to pull out my Ultra Bond liquid adhesive for the actual cut file piece, but again, just using my easy tear tape for the picture and to adhere that down to my layout. Things are starting to appear and disappear on my screen. My baby girl was next to me and just wanted a snack and was moving things all over on my desk. So here I am just adhering my cut file piece down on my layout with some of this Ultra Bond liquid adhesive. Um, I love that it dries clear, so you're never going to see this anywhere that it kind of goops out. So I've got that all on there. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. I wanted it to be really smooth and make sure that it got on there. So I just grabbed a, a craft and carrier sheet and just rubbed that right on top. So that's another use for one of those sheets. It was laying here beside me and I thought, oh, that's perfect. So I'm just going to grab some 3D foam squares now at this point and adhere all of my foiled letters right on top in the middle of that cut file. So I'm going to fill in all of my letters now. I was cutting down some of these black foam squares that come in the box, but then I'm like, why am I not using my other foam squares that are smaller? So I pulled out some Gina K ones that are the, the smaller size and ended up using both of those. So I'm just pulling out a sticker sheet from the Birthday Wishes collection. Um, I think this is Simple Stories maybe or Echo Park. Um, but I'm using a lot of random bits. So these little stars are from close to my heart. And I'm just pulling off a couple of those to scatter on my layout on top of that mixed media. I'm going to use some sequins from Not Just For Boys Kit Club. This is a close to my heart sheet here as well. I was going to use these balloons, but I just, I didn't really like them on here. They just felt too big and invasive and in your face. And I, I didn't want that. Um, I, I know the foil is kind of in your face, but I wanted the foil to be one of my focal points of this layout in the photo. So I, I didn't really want to add another big piece to this. I just wanted a lot of little bits. So I'm just adding these cute little stars and um, I added a little word phrase above my cut file there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. The cut file is actually from Pear Tree Cut Files. I've had it in my stash for a while now. Um, I might have actually used it once before, but I can't remember. I have so many now, it's, it's hard to keep track of what I've used and what I haven't used. So I'm just adding a few more little embellishments. I've added a little flare. Um, that's a canvas flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. I was going to add this little wordy bit at the top, but I didn't like it, so I ended up ripping it back off. Um, there you can just see all that beautiful shimmer as I held that up. And I'm actually just going to stick this flare down because I know that that's where I want it to go and I'm not going to move it around anywhere. I'm not going to put any thread behind it this time. Um, I thought this layout had enough interest. And you guys just saw my... Um... <laughs> My little whoopsie moment, I tried to open that bottle of um, sequins and they ended up going all over the place, all over my desk. They're on my light in front of me. They're on my camera stand in front of me. I'm sure it probably looked like a controlled drop, but I didn't mean to do that. And I just made an entire huge mess of my table. But you know what? It's okay. It's not a big deal. I have a ton of these sequins, so... 
There is all that sequin goodness applied to my layout. I just used some of that Ultra Bond liquid glue. But you know what? Even I have whoopsie moments sometimes too. So if you guys think I'm super organized, I'm not. I am a messy scrapper, clearly. And you know what? It's okay. So I'm just tucking some tissue paper in behind my photo. I felt like it really, really needed something else around it. So I just tucked a couple sheets of tissue paper in behind my photo and just staggered them behind there. So I just love how that looks. And then I found these cute little stars from a doodle bug collection in my birthday bin and this little cupcake, which is just super adorable. And I'm just using a glue dot on that to adhere that down. So I'm just going to finish um, adhering all of these other elements and I've got all those sequins on there. I'm just going to do one more thing to finish this off. I've grabbed my ink pen and some stamps here by Ellie Studio. Actually just one stamp this time. I'm just stamping some stars around the outside border. I felt like the border needed something yet. So I've just done a little bit of stamping and then I'm going to add some lines just with my pen here. And then that's gonna finish this one off. Um, here's the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. And I'll leave all of my affiliate links below too in case you want to grab anything from any of the shops. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.